just when you thought I had too many shoes, well, I got a package um, of new, new shoes. Uh, for Depop, so yay! But if you're new here, my name is Jen and you're probably like, what is she even talking about? But basically, I really like making videos about shoes, about fashion, and yeah, so today is another unboxing and it's kind of impromptu, but I got this in the mail and I thought, hey, why not make a video where I open up the box and style them up for you? Just another little Doc Martin styling video. So. Yeah, I'm gonna open these shoes. Um, they are gonna be part of my next video, which is a thrift haul. So yeah, keep tuned, keep tuned, stay, stay tuned for that one because I will also be trying on all that stuff. I was just gonna put this in that video, but I thought, hey, why not do an unboxing and you know, have an extra cool video for you guys. So yes, we're gonna unbox this. Um, not really sure on the quality of them, the post on Depop, basically I had been following for like this whole year, no one had bought them, they're these shoes that I thought, I'm intrigued, I'm gonna try them maybe, but they're a little too pricey, but recently they went on sale, so I was like, meant to be, they're still there after like six months or so, so I'm gonna try them out and hopefully they're right, it's kind of an impulse buy, I was kind of trying to save money and not buy any more shoes because I might be leaving the country and I might have to choose only a couple of shoes to take with me so yeah I don't know what I'm gonna do with all my babies and I shouldn't be buying any more but you know I just love Doc Martin collections so I'm just gonna keep buying more shoes and here we go we got another pair you have about five seconds to say in the comments what you think they are, you probably know kind of by the title. Also, these have been sitting on my floor for about a week and I haven't opened them, which is the greatest self-control I've ever had. So it's quite a big bag. Um, oh shit, hopefully it's like not showing my address. Let's hold it this way. I'm sorry for the noise of the bag, but... Oh, it's in a box, guys. Here we are. Um, I'll take them out now. All right, guys, so these are actually in the box. It seems like they actually tried. So they put it in the actual Doc Martens box, which tells me maybe that they haven't really worn them that much. Let's see if it, yeah, it's like the original box because I can tell by the little tag here. Can you tell what they are yet? But um, yes, this is a smaller box. So this is indicating to you guys that I did not get some Sinclairs or Jadens, even though Sinclairs are totally on the list. Have you guys seen the white ones? I wanna get those, but I guess I'll stop stalling and open these up. Oh my God, they freaking wrapped them. This is what I do when I sell them. So if I sell them on Depop, get ready for some magnificent packing skills, so. Here we go, we got this one. Oh my goodness. These are very, very unique shoes. Now, what I got was, let me tell you from the box, the Black Noir Python UK6. They have this cool texture on them. I think they're so awesome. Basically, I've been living in, uh, wait, I'll show you which ones I've been living in. These ones, which are like kind of a different kind of dog man, very classy, very old school, the white, white, kind of off-white color. Um, I've been wearing these a lot, so I thought, why not get some other ones that are kind of a similar style? They both look the same kind of pointedness, if that makes sense. Usually I don't like pointed shoes, but in dog man's, basically love everything. So yes, I've been living in these, so I thought, why not get these? And I guess I should get the other one out. This is the box again. Really not sure how, like what season these came out or whatnot, but they definitely have more of a worn look. They're like an off black and they have kind of this fake Python print. They feel a little bit suede as well, but yes. These are so pretty. Obviously, I already have the Doc Martens 1461s in black, 
which is kind of more of a polished, shiny look, but um, these are just kind of a chiller, cooler, maybe classier look. I would wear these out, I think. If I saw a dude in these, I would be like, yes. But um, unfortunately, I'm a girl. I'm just gonna love myself in these. So yeah, these are the two shoes. You guys ask me how I clean them when I get them from Depop. Honestly, these don't seem too gross. Um, and I wear socks with them, so I may not even clean the insides of these. Sometimes I put some like odor eaters like dust in there just to freshen them up. But if you want to see kind of how I clean them, I have a whole video which is like everything you need to know about dog ones and I go into a little bit of cleaning in there. So yeah, you can check that out. I'll put it somewhere here or in the things. So yeah, these are the new shoes. I guess I will try them on and tell you how they fit because honestly, 1461s I find are very different in sizing for me. Sometimes they're really tight, like my black ones that I have are really, really tight. But I think they're the women's sizing. Um, these look like the unisex ones, which are kind of, you know, a little bit bigger. Normally a bit bigger around here, like my foot slips out. So we'll see if I think I need to put an inner sole in these. Honestly, just looking at the laces, I'm doing these now. The laces are pretty worn out, but I think it adds to the look. So yes, I got my blue socks on and I'm going to try these. Okay, they feel like pretty perfectly sized. I honestly have really thin feet, so it's sometimes a struggle, but this is the shoe. Um, sorry about the weird angles of my feet, but hello foot fetish people. They are pretty classy. They actually look pretty cool with these socks. I think I love these. Uh, they don't look too worn. The bottom of the sole is slightly worn. Nothing too bad. They look about the same as some of my dog minds that I haven't worn too much. So if you're looking for depopping, you want to look for like what the sole looks like just to see if they've been worn a lot and how old they are. You can kind of tell by the bottom, kind of like how with rings of trees, you can see the age of the tree. This is how you see the age of the shoe or the wornness of the shoe. But yes, I didn't have pictures of these when I bought them, impulse buy, but here we go, the shoes. I will now style them for you guys and yeah. Now, honestly, I could style these so many different ways. They're just classic black Doc Martens, but with a twist. So for the first look, I just went with my classic black jeans, the wide leg jeans that I basically wear in every video, and this little top that I thrifted for 50 cents, which you'll probably see in the next video. It's just such a classic look, easy to throw on, don't have to wear a bra with it, and you look kind of put together and classy, but you could basically do anything in this outfit. Next up, we're going really 90s in this one with the clips and the pants and the top. Um, honestly, wasn't too sure on this one. I don't always love these pants on me, but here we are. So I actually ended up changing into an alternative option, which is the green jeans, which I think is a lot cuter. Um, I like the whole similar color tone palette thing that I've got going on. And yeah, honestly, I need to fix the top up so that it's not showing my bra, but yeah, I really love this look. And then next up, because I was just trying on random things in my wardrobe just to see what worked with these shoes, I just threw on this jumper because I opened the wardrobe and I was like, hey, haven't worn this in a while and it looked cute. To keep with the whole snake print vibe, I went with this snake print dress to go with the snake print shoes and I kept it all kind of greys and black and whites to go with like this effortlessly cool look. Um, yeah. And then I tried to make it more of a spring look because here in Australia we are going to go into spring soon. But it's slightly harder to pair black accessories with kind of white, bright clothing. So I tried to challenge myself and the way I did it was pairing a black belt with these white wash jeans and this little floral top. And I think it looks super cute. 
But yeah, that is all my looks for now. Thank you so much for watching. I have been Jen. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And until next time, keep wandering.